What's going on, everybody? It's John again with Grace, Liberty, and the finished work of Jesus Christ. Yeah, for another drive-by devotional. All right. So, let's talk Romans 8.1. Romans 8.1 says, There is now therefore no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. No condemnation. What does this mean? No, it means exactly what it sounds like it means. God is not condemning you. God cannot condemn you. Even if he wanted to. No, he doesn't want to, of course. But even if he wanted to, he couldn't. Why? Because everything was paid for on the cross. Sin was paid for on the cross. If sin is paid for on the cross... And we have accepted that payment. There is nothing for us to, well, be condemned for. And this also, of course, goes along with punishment and discipline. It doesn't mean God doesn't correct us. It doesn't mean God doesn't say, hey, you're not, you're not doing good in this year. But there's no such thing as punishment. Because sin was punished on the cross. You follow me? All right. Now, remember, no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. And John 3, 17. For, uh, for God uh, sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. We got to remember that God's heart in everything has to be love, because God is love. First John chapter four. God is not a God sitting on a throne somewhere, looking to mete out punishment or looking to do things for his his own personal gain. He can't. He's love. So everything he does is for our sake. God's not looking to condemn anybody. Never has, even in the Old Testament, he wasn't looking to condemn people. So, and so God isn't condemning you. Sometimes we have this idea of God that we're, where we made a mistake, we have to walk around waiting for a, an accident to happen, you know, as some form of punishment or a piano to fall on our head like the cartoons or something. You know, as some form of punishment for our sin or to repay you know for what we've done but that's not true sin was paid for on the cross there is no need for payment that's what grace says right charis undeserved unmerited favor no need for repayment. So my friends, God is not condemning you today for your failures. Even if it's prevalent, even if it's a constant thing, there is no condemnation. You've accepted Jesus Christ. And if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ, accept and believe in Jesus Christ as your Savior. You don't have to do it once. You just need to believe. And all of these things can be true about you. And you'll see. You'll see the change in your life simply by understanding the grace of God. And that there is no condemnation. God bless my friend.